So, you know in the beginning of a Let's Play series, you usually start up with uh, Welcome to... And then you put in the name of the Let's Play, or <laughs> the series, or the map. Well, uh, this is gonna be a challenge. Welcome to Knieskopsheim. Knieskopsheim? Knieskops. <laughs> I don't know, that was my best effort. Looking at the license plate, I guess we're in Germany. I've um, just started up a game on easy mode for once. Because this series really wasn't planned. Uh, I stumbled upon this map. It's newly released in version 1.000, I guess. And it just looked kind of awesome. Let's check out the map. It's a decent size. There are, as far as I know, two startup farms. You have one pig farm here and a basic startup farm here with a cow barn. Um, I've seen a little bit of uh, the map just here in the middle. That's all I have explored and there are some beautiful places. The map is, yeah, I think it's really well made. And before we do anything we have to see what's the standard. Maybe already plowing is off, but that's okay. Get rid of that. Okay, let's head to the farm. Um, yeah, uh, the terrain is very well done. It feels like a rural European countryside. Um, the roads are a bit twisty, there are some dips and bumps, and you have, yeah, the vegetation is very well made, I think. Here I suppose I am going to be surprised by, whoa, it's a chicken coop, which I've driven past three times now. <laughs> so this isn't the first trip I have here. And I don't know if you saw it on the map, but we start up with three fields. One of them is this one. And I was a little bit annoyed because it's nowhere near connected with the other ones. So I was contemplating selling it and uh, buy one of the other ones so we could have everything a bit closer. <clears throat> That's more efficient and um, of course we could connect fields but if we look at the map there is a solution to it I believe yeah um, before we get to that solution, welcome to the farm. Here we have a decent sized shed. It's quite large. 
And the first thing we see is a couple of trailers, uh, bale storage, or uh, bale and pallet storage, silo pit, which is huge. Over here, uh, close to the shed, there is some space for greenhouses. We have a cow barn where somebody is trying to free the cows. TMR mixer with almost 12,000 liters. Oh, that's cool. And the cows do not have anything to eat, so that's the first thing we have to remedy. Now, here, if we look at the map, We own this field down here. This, this, and that. Now, I was thinking of selling that. It's a hundred thousand. We could buy uh, 16, 19 is quite small. And yeah, I think that would be easier. But there's this road. I think we're standing to the gate uh, at the gate now. Maybe we could make a cut through. And that could be cool. Um Yeah, we could work up to buying field number 4 as one of the first fields we buy. And we could have an access road through here. So this is the kind of cozy details I just love. You have this little road in the middle of a forest, which leads to a pond. It's just beautiful. And I guess this is our water supply. Uh, I think that's cool, and I guess we can back down here and fill our tankers. And this is field number three. So ours is. Yeah. Is this one. Okay, so. Maybe a cut through. I still want to try it. I think the goal should be to own the fields we have. Yeah, three, four, five, maybe, and make a cut through here. That would be kind of awesome. I think so. So let's just continue. Huge yard space. Cow barn still. We have a silo. And the silo is empty. Yeah. And then we have this thingamabob a flushy kite tank. Flushy. Flushy. It's a tank with herbicide, diesel, and liquid fertilizer. And we have available metal boxes. I have not used these. I haven't seen them before. But we'll find out 
It's 10,000 liters of TMR. We got our combine with a fire extinguisher. That starts off good. And yeah, we see a vent and a class. I should do the trick. We have a huge weight. A silo compactor, pallet forks, and a front loader. Mm, no. Yeah, it should fit the fent, I guess. I have no idea if it fits the class. But that's something we're gonna learn. Then we have this huge shed. And um, look at this. For somebody who usually stops from scratch, this is just insane. <laughs> we have about everything we need. No, we don't, but we have a good, decent start. And I believe since we have a cow farm, we'll start up by um, uh, producing grass, one field for hay, one for silage. And um, yeah, we're gonna produce straw somehow in the last one. Wheat or barley. We figure that out. We have the cedar planter, isn't it? Um, a mower, a forest wagon, a plow, and a cultivator, spade. Yeah, cultivator, I guess. So, first thing. Yeah, uh, wait, it's... Ah, we have a workshop also. Yeah, that's great. Um, let's feed the cows. I'm gonna pick up one of the trailers. And I'll convert it to a flatbed. And I'll go to the store, get some seed. I guess I get some solid fertilizer as well. And I think the first thing of is to analyze our fields. So I'll just lease uh, the Isaria. That's kind of cool, you can... There's a cow! Nobody saw anything. I did not run over a cow. We're just focusing on how cool it is to see the volume on the little display there. And that bump was definitely Definitely not a cow. I did not hit a cow. Yeah, uh, seems to be an issue with the mirrors. And that's probably me having settings to max amount of mirrors you can have. Just park this here for now. I'll pick up the trailer, take it to the workshop, convert it to a flatbed, because in my mind these can be converted to flatbeds. Oh. Now we have two of them, now we have one of them. Okay, uh, you don't need to 
watch all of this. So let's just fast forward. So I analyzed the soil and yeah, we're gonna lime the fields. The pH is that bad, but let's just get it done. And we have a good foundation. Actually, here is, it's very yellow. So I tried to be efficient and do everything at once. So I bought the lime and uh, this spreader and I tried to get everything loaded up at once and when I filled up the spreader I quickly found out I forgot to put on a weight. This uh, it's the largest tractor we have, and I believe there are wheel weights. Yeah, but uh, yeah, four thousand liters of lime was more than uh, this tractor could handle in the front. I should just have put it in the back. The reason for putting it in the front was I thought it was smart to again be efficient and uh, just do everything at once plant or a seed and put on lime but with these massive width it's so much faster just to get it done The other thing is <sighs> let's look at the map. So first I was thinking we should have 19 and 15 as grass fields. But that would mean we had to transport the combine all the way down here to plot number four. So maybe 19 should be barley or something, wheat. Still it's a long way to transport the combine. I don't know if we had, I uh, don't believe we have a header trailer. Of course we could take 15 which also is a nice field or a combine, it's square, but it's also the largest one. Let's 
0, that was a point 0.83, point 0.45. So 4 and 19 equals 15 in size. We're gonna, grass is the main thing we're going to need for TMR. So it makes sense to make, to have one of the small fields as, um, as wheat, barley, anything that produces straw. Without a header trailer, it's equally difficult to get to 4 and 19, I think. So if we're going to get a header trailer anyways, 4 is probably the best for a combine because of the layout. Okay, then <laughs> I guess we decided that. We need a header trailer and 19 and 15 is going to be grass fields. So I'll go back to the shop, pick up the rest of the lime. Probably going to put the um, spreader in the back and hope Yes. See if it could carry 3,300 liters, if that makes any difference, with a heavy engine in front. But I'll get it done. And um, when you see us next time, we're seeding. Grass fields are planted and it's getting dark. The wheat or barley, or I think we're gonna go for oats. They, uh, we're a bit early for that, have to wait till 
September, I believe. So, for now, I'm gonna head home. Have some dinner and go to sleep. Tomorrow it'll be September, we'll get the last field planted. And I guess we're gonna go and buy some straw for our cows. Maybe we'll have to add in a few more cows and we have to see about getting a tanker for the milk. But our first day has been okay-ish. Tell me what you think, what we could do better. And uh, yeah, see you next time.